Today I wanted to show you how to make this cute little Valentine treat. It's something easy that I think your kids would enjoy making for their teachers or classmates. So come along and we'll see how to do this. All right, so here's the Valentine we're going to be making. It's just a circle felt doily with a little sticker heart and some ribbon filled with some candy. Let's take a closer look at some of the supplies we'll need. The base of our Valentine is going to be made with these felt doilies. I got these at Target in the dollar spot and they come five to a package and they're one dollar. In order to make the Valentines you'll need at least two packages so that you can match up colors. If the colors are not important to you to be matched, if you don't mind having a mismatched um, doily, um, then you can go ahead and use one package, but you'll have one left over. As you can see, I've got two packages here that I've opened up, and then I'll just match up two of the colors. Now the next supply we'll need is a package of these felt stickers with these little rhinestone jewels on them. I got these at the Dollar Tree. You can find something similar at Target though. The next thing you'll need is some ribbon. I picked these up for a party that I did back in December and I just went to Walmart and I got the Dollar Ribbon. So um, there's a lot of variety. You can go and choose whatever colors you like. I'm just using these up because these are what we had left over. The next thing you'll need is some sort of treat to put inside your Valentine bag. So I found some cupcake kisses at Target and I picked up several bags of these while they were on sale. This is what the packaging looks like. It has little hearts all over the packaging. And then it is a white chocolate and if you um, bite into it or cut it open, you can see that it has little candy um, kisses or like little candy chips in it. And um, I tried some and it's actually quite good. I was surprised. Um, I thought it would, you know, be kind of overpoweringly sweet, but it's not. It's got like um, a little bit of a crisp to it. And so it was very, um, very good. And then, um, like I said, I got several packages of, packages of these. So I'll be able to um, put several into the Valentine. An optional um, step would be to add a saying. And you can do that by using um, fabric paint. And I just add some gold glitter fabric paint and I just wrote be mine at the top. If you're going to do this, I recommend writing out all of your words and um, setting them aside and letting them completely dry before you begin the project, otherwise they'll smear. Okay, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is just pick out two matching doilies here and I'll just use the blue. And then we're going to look and see which of these stickers might look best. <clears throat> and I think that I might like the light pink with it. Hmm, let me see what ribbon choices I have. I was thinking about using the coral but maybe the shiny blue would be okay because it has that iridescent strip through it, which would look good with the light pink heart. So I think I've made my selection. This is what I'm going to use. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a little bit of a, a cold coming on. So I'm gonna use this light blue ribbon with this light pink heart. So the great thing about these stickers is um, that the adhesive's already on the back of them and it's a pretty strong adhesive. When I was doing the other Valentine. Um, I worried that it might lift up when I put the candies in, but as you can see, I'm not having any issues with it lifting off and I'm rubbing fairly hard. So I think that's going to be secure enough to last through the Valentine's Day party at the kids' school. So we'll just need to remove the backing and attach it. And I like to attach it before I fill it because then I can firmly press down without any um, of the lumps and bumps of the candy there. And if you're going to be writing something on it, make sure you move this down and leave some room for the top. I don't think I'm actually gonna be writing anything on this one, so I probably should have um, centered it a little bit better. We've got a little kitty visitor. <laughs> Hi, Creason. 
Let me get him off. Now to make sure that I'm going to have enough ribbon to go all around, <laughs> there's another kitty attack. Um, to make sure I'm going to have enough ribbon to go all the way around the doily, I've just loosely draped it. Grayson, you're going to have to move. Sorry about that. So I've just loosely draped it around so I know that that will for sure fit around it. So I know that this is where I want my top to be, um, kind of keeping the heart upright. So I know this is where I want my top to be. So I'm just going to be lacing the ribbon through the every other top hole here. So like in and then out, in and then out, all the way around um, this, the outer ring of the circles. You could do it through the hearts, but I think that um, was detracting from the shape of the heart and you, you kind of lost that it was a heart shape. Having it go through every, um, the outer ring here, I think it maintains the heart shape and it still gives you enough space to stuff with candy. Now I'm not sure if you can see this, but if you're pulling it through and um, your ribbon ends up twisted, just um, flip it back over and pull it straight so that it looks nice and smooth um, for the end result. Okay, I've gone around most of this, but I'm going to stop before I'm completely done so that I can fill it with candies. So here you can see it's kind of crammed full. I'm going to give the ribbons a nice um, tight pull and finish lacing up and all of these little um, kisses will be uh, sewn inside. So there I've gone and pulled everything tight and um, this is just tying a simple bow. You can do a knot and have them snip it apart or you can just tie a simple bow and hopefully it won't come apart um, in the transport. So let me go ahead and tie that bow. Now when I was doing wedding favors um, for my wedding forever ago, I had a bridesmaid tell me that I should tie the bows upside down because the bows will actually be neater because that's how you've been tying your shoelaces your whole life. So um, you'll end up getting neater bows if you tie it upside down. So there it is with my little bow. And I'm actually going to be having my children do all of these um, for their teacher. I just wanted to do one or two just so I could show you in case you were interested in making these with your children for um, Valentine's Day for their classmates or for a special friend or for their teachers. I think this is a really cute idea and it's um, several different activities for the kids and I think the teachers will appreciate it. You know, the doing this the sticker and then like doing all of this lacing it's so good for their their fine motor control and um, you know it's like beginning sewing especially for my six-year-old and my ten-year-old I think that this is a, a good educational project that they'll be able to enjoy over the next few weeks before um, Valentine's Day and I think they're probably gonna end up sampling some of the candy as they go <laughs> so make sure whatever you have um, going into the bag is something you don't mind the kids sampling and this doesn't have to include candy It can include other little things like stickers if they're giving it to their friends or like maybe a little toy Or other types of little treats. It doesn't have to be edible candy All right. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you again soon